Church, it's Pastors Jen and Jacob here, checking in with you via digital devotion. So we were thinking that, you know, it's springtime and Pastor Jacob and I have lived in different parts of the country. Some states, more than California, experience spring as a very volatile season, meaning that one day it could be pouring rain, the next day it could be very sunny and warm, the next day there might be a late frost, and it just goes on and on like this for a couple of months in the springtime every year. And uh, even now in California, often you will wake up and check the forecast and find out that the day's uh, weather pattern looks very different than it did before you went to bed when you checked it last. And as the day progresses, the rain maybe will come, maybe it won't, maybe the sun will be out, maybe it'll be cloudy all day. That's just the nature of this season. And we were thinking that actually feels a lot like psychologically what we're going through because of this pandemic. Yeah, I, I like to plan ahead. So right now I want to be planning exactly what I'll be doing in June and July and August and looking forward and making sure that I've got everything in order. But right now we just can't plan that far ahead of time. We really are being forced to be in the moment right now, taking it day by day, even hour by hour. And so that's a completely different frame of mind and we have to shift the way that we're thinking in terms of how we're planning out our days rather than planning out our weeks ahead. If you're a parent right now and you have the streaming service Disney Plus, I'm sure your kids are watching a steady stream of Frozen 2 and one of the famous songs in that movie says that really all we can do is the next right thing. And it feels like that's what we can do right now. We can't think about what we're going to do in two months, but we can do whatever is the next right thing now. We can think about how we're going to be spending time indoors in order to protect the most vulnerable of our society. We can think about the ways in which this economic stimulus should be helping those who are most impacted and impoverished right now and doing that right thing right now, making sure that people in our community who don't have access to food have access to food. and. Um, just thinking, what is it that we're going to do today? And what is it maybe that we're gonna to do tomorrow, even though we don't know what tomorrow will bring? And, and that's enough right now. And so I hope that we can shift our mind. Instead of making long-term plans, we can start thinking, what am I going to do this day? How am I going to impact the world in this moment? No matter what new news might come tomorrow, we can um, do something today. So I hope that is on just kind of a large scale of how we're helping our society, but also on a small scale. You know, what new thing are you going to do this day? What way are you going to take care of yourself as well today? And how are you going to embrace this hour by hour schedule that we have? I invite you to join us in a closing prayer. Holy God, in this uncertain time, we ask that your spirit continue to lead us moment by moment, hour by hour, day by day. We put our trust in you as always, and we look forward to the day when things will feel a little more even in our lives. But until then, God, we, we follow you with joy, with hope, and with peace in our hearts. Amen. Amen. We'll see you next time.